Hi there, my name is Isabel and I'm a cloud engineer in Google Cloud Professional Services. I'm going to show you today HTTP routing with the new Gateway API. First, let's take a look at the structure of the HTTP route resource. It defines the routing behavior within the Gateway API. Basically, it has four properties, hosts, matching, filters, and the destination. Important to also point out is how the label selector establish which gateway the service will be exposed by. Nevertheless, in this video, we'll be mainly focusing on the routing and traffic semantics within the HTTP route. First, we'll try path-based matching. This is something we can already do with the existing ingress resource in Kubernetes. In this slide, you can see a mapping between both customer resources, also known as CRDs. First, we match on the host name foo.com. Then, we're also going to match on the path slash v2 and sending the traffic to foo v2 service, which exposes my application foo v2. And there's also service references. So far, this looks exactly like the ingress resource, but we can do more expressive routing. And that's what we're going to do through header traffic matching, in which I can define where I want my application traffic to go based on HTTP headers. In this case, we'll send the traffic coming with the header version v2 to foo v2. And finally, let's try weight traffic splitting by sending 50% of the traffic to foo v1 and the other half to of the traffic to foo v2. You can use these three patterns, for example, for can canary deployment, A-B testing, and migrations. But let's get into the fun stuff. Demo time. So switching to my terminal, I'll first check if I'm logged into the right cluster. I'll be using GK1 for this demo, so it looks right. Then I'll show you the services I have just deployed in my cluster. So you can see foov1 and foov2 under the namespace foo and bar service under the namespace bar. Then let's let's see the HTTP routes I've just deployed in the same cluster. You can see bar root and uh, foo root under the namespace bar and foo respectively. So um, let's take a look, closer look at them. So as above, then you can also see um, the label selector establishing the gateway the service will be exposed by and the host name matching on bar.com and forwarding to the service bar. What about foo root? Let's take a look at that one. As before, we match on the host name foo.com and on the path slash v2, which forwards to the foo v2 service, while the remaining traffic will go to foo v1. So then we're going to export the virtual IP from the gateway to send the traffic to. Just confirming I have an IP. Sound looks good. And then let's try that, send some curl requests. So with the host name foo.com, I get foo.com or foo v1 is replying to back to me. And with slash v2, I get foo v2. Then if I try a different host name, I'll get a fault filter board because there is no rules matching that, that host name, at least deployed. And if I try slash v3, then I'll get foo v1 because it's the default rule. And finally, checking on bar.com will give us bar service will reply back. So let's move on to the second example and that we mentioned in our slides. So I'll apply the root first as it takes a bit to take effect and we'll confirm that it match what we just mentioned. Um, let me just take a look so that we show that I'm not lying. As we see, same name and namespace, but the matching is instead then in headers, version v2. And so let's try to make a call request with a header version v2 to verify that foo v2 answers back. Looks good. And if now I change to version v3, then you'll see that foo v1 is the default rule, so is replying back. So finally, our last example, that is weight traffic splitting. Let's apply that because it takes a bit to take, takes a bit 
of time to take effect. But let's take a look. This was the, the last example that we had for today. Everything as before, but now you see the weight property with 50 with, to depict 50% to depict, uh, of the traffic being split between both services. And this time we'll test with a while loop uh, to be sure that the traffic is being split. And yeah, voila, traffic is being split.